Hello you and welcome to part two of showing you my makeup and skincare. I have already shown you all my makeup in part one which I will link down below. This one is part two and that includes my skincare. So I don't have that much which is why this is my minimalistic skincare collection and here it is. Let's start with my actually let's start with moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I have. It's by Foxtail. I actually really like this brand. I love the colorful packaging. It's very easy. I love the simple pump applicator. It gives you good control over how much product you are using or you want to use. So definitely a brand that you should try. It has ceramides, I have oily skin, and it never feels greasy. So that is always a plus. That is my moisturizer. I have these two by L'Occitane Tan as well. Uh, this big one is the hand cream and the small one is the foot cream. I do enjoy both of them. The only reason it's not kept in my organizer is because it keeps falling because of how tiny this little base is. <laughs> I definitely tried to keep it on here a couple of times, but it never works. So definitely foot cream, a must for dry, which is so weird because technically your your heels should dry up more during the winter, dry winter season, right? But I've noticed for me and for a lot of other people I know, your heels tend to dry up more during the hot summer weather. And I think that's because we walk barefoot a lot. And it's the open chappas that we wear, our little uh, flip-flops, slippers, summer shoes. Those are the things that cause your heels to dry out. So this foot cream is a very handy and you don't need to spend that much money on a foot cream. You can use Vaseline or any other petroleum jelly. And the hand cream is really good too. Never greasy, which is always something that I look out for because I have a very oily, greasy skin. Look at me trying to show off my mehindi. <laughs> I did these little dots. So cute, right? I watched Hira Mandi and that was my one inspiration from that movie. Anyway, so yeah, these are other two skincare products that I have. I have this Eba rose water. Now this came free with my Nika purchase. I prefer using rose water with my masks like face masks if I have to mix it up instead of water. I prefer rose water just to be a little extra. I just started my ring light because the flash keeps going off on my phone. So here is a moisturizer. It's a lotion, actually. It's a body lotion by Gold Together. And I've never heard of this brand before, but it is a good lotion. It has a florally scent, which I'm not crazy about. I prefer vanilla scents and nutty scents. Um, but anyway, this is too sweet for me. But I do use it up. Um, the size is pretty handy to just put in your purse. I had a body wash along with this and I used to carry that with me when I went swimming. It was very easy to just hop in the shower after the swim and it didn't take up that much space. So that is another one that I have in my collection. Let's talk about sunscreen. So here's another one by Fox Steel. As I told you, the packaging is just so colorful, vibrant, love it. Um, this is one, it's the mattifying sunscreen. I also got their dewy sunscreen, which I have used up and it is in a trash somewhere in another continent. This one is SPF 70, really nice, same kind of bump in the packaging. I love how much control you have with this as well. And it never makes me feel greasy. And this is mattifying, so obviously it's not going to make you feel greasy. But even the one that I had that was dewy, it never made me feel greasy. So that, these are this is a great brand to look out for. Here's another sunscreen that I have. It's by Deconstruct. It's SPF 55. Now, Deconstruct is another brand that I recently discovered, and it has pretty good skincare. I especially like their face wash. That's really good. I got their sunscreen for the first time, and it is a nice one. The only thing is it is a gel sunscreen, but it doesn't look like it's gel. I mean, it's supposed to be a gel sunscreen, but it is white and it's creamy. So that is something to remember when you buy this because it can be a little misleading but again it is 
a good sunscreen. And sunscreen number three that I recently got is the Dot and Key Skincare Sunscreen. It's their watermelon cooling sunscreen SPF 50 plus. It has hyaluronic acid in it. I really like this one as well. It doesn't have a pump. It is this kind of packaging, but it is so easy. Oh my gosh, okay, I just got some out. I'm gonna put that right back. As Dr. Dre always says, the best sunscreen is the one that you actually use. So I like all three of them because I actually use, whoopsie, <laughs> I actually use all three of them. All right, finally, in this section, we have this. It is the Foxtail eye candy firming under eye gel so i honestly believe that we don't need eye creams i don't know ask skincare experts <laughs> they might disagree but i don't think we need it i only got this because it was hot pink it was a pretty and it was a buy three get three free offer by foxtail so i had to put one <laughs> and i opted for this plus i really like the applicator it feels really really good it's so cooling especially if you just stick it in the fridge and then you take it out after a few minutes and it becomes like nice and cool uh, my uh, my under eyes really like it so that is something to consider but do let me know what do you think do we need eye creams is it a thing is does that help or is it just like gimmicky and it just it feels good like cucumber on the eye thing that is totally useless you know that right fact and i have just one more skincare section in here let's see here it is here we are so we have this it came free with my deconstruct sunscreen this is the 2% alpha arbutin and 5% niacinamide serum alpha arbutin it is recommended by dermatologists it is a pretty gentle so if you're looking for a gentle serum this is a good one plus it has 5% niacinamide which is moisturizing and it's good for your pores i really like niacinamide for me at least i have oily acne prone skin with large pores and niacinamide helps me so much that people come and actually ask me what are you doing to your skin it looks really nice so um i do like niacinamide and alpha arbutin i have used this a couple of times and it hasn't done anything because obviously for skincare to work you have to use it for at least a month for it to show any difference so i have used this maybe four or five times and it's not hurt my skin in any way so definitely not sensitive to it but i will let you know if i notice any difference here next up we have l'oreal's hyaluronic acid another good product would i actually go and purchase this myself no uh, l'oreal sent this free along with a bunch of other stuff so i do use it up hyaluronic is good um it's a good ingredient it is especially good if you have very dry skin i personally don't have dry skin but i do i have used quite a lot of it up. Uh, let me show you how much i have used up i like to use hyaluronic on um damp skin here it is how much i've used i'm already hitting pan because there wasn't that much in this jar the jar is so big but it is nice and creamy the cream is a very it's not thick or anything it's a very soft type of a cream i don't have anything bad to say about this product just that i'm not gonna go out of my way to buy hyaluronic acid because i feel like most moisturizers have hyaluronic acid in it so but if you are really a big fan of this ingredient then for sure go ahead and purchase next up we have this another one that l'oreal sent me for free this is their revitalist revitalift crystal micro essence i don't think we need essence i really think that it's it's a very I'm not going to say gimmicky or not gimmicky. I just feel like it's unnecessary and I like to keep things simple. I did use this a couple of times. I'm not sure if it did anything. I didn't notice any difference on my face, but it is supposed to give you that glowy effect. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I will be doing a video with this after I have used it a few more times. As you can see, I've barely, barely used this like four or five times. So let me use it a couple of more times and then I will be doing a video reviewing this product. But brace yourselves till then. Here is another one. Uh, my sister gifted this to me. This is the Cosarax Snail Mucin. This is their dual essence. So this side is the Snail Mucin and this side is actually niacinamide, which is why it is not as sticky as the original, which is just the Snail Mucin. This one has both and I actually really like it. it it's not that sticky sticky for me. I mean, it gives a nice amount of stick, I guess you can say. I like to use it at night after I cleanse my face and I pat it dry. And then I just use this up. Let me actually show you. This is the pump. So here I am editing the video and I realized that the camera cut me off. I don't know when, but I see that I was at the snail mucin. So yes, this is half and half, which is really good. It's a little expensive, but I feel like Cosrx products are just really good. In fact, I'm going to be doing my blog post on the Cosrx products. So look out for that post if you're interested in this brand. Um, dermatologists rave about this brand. So definitely I would recommend it. And uh, next up, I see that I didn't mention this. I don't know why I thought I did. This is the Dot & Key Sika Calming Blemish Clearing Face Wash. This is also free. As you can see, it says so over here. Not for sale. So I got this with my Nika order along with the Dot & Key Sunscreen, which I showed you guys earlier. This is kept over here because I'm still trying to use up my old sunscreen so this is still there i will be switching to this it has salicylic acid and green tea both great ingredients salicylic acid for acne prone oily skin and green tea to just calm down your skin so this looks like a good one dot and key is a good brand anyway so now just two more things left in here these are my little eye drops probably you're not interested in that for my allergies um i have my tretinoin finally i should say last but not the least i use this every sunday now i when i started tretinoin i was too enthusiastic and i was using tretinoin every day it broke me out it started breaking me out after a few weeks so i switched to every other day and then it broke me out as well so i stopped using tretinoin and my skin was still pretty bad so i'm assuming maybe it wasn't the tretinoin purge it was just something else that was reacting with my skin any which way i am just to be safe because it took me forever to clean and <laughs> clear out my acne I am using it every Sunday now and it's working pretty well for me. This is a Tretinoin 0.05%. I think this is a medium one. They have a one that's a bit higher and then there's one that's a bit lower and this is the medium one. My dermatologist prescribed, of course, you can't use Tretinoin without a prescription. But I think it's a good time to start using when you are in your 30s. So, yeah, that is uh, that. I think that is about everything that I want to mention. I've shown you this rack. I've shown you all my makeup stuff in my minimalistic makeup collection video. These are my moisturizers and my sunscreens. And that is that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'll, and i'll see you guys in my next video bye